What is going on everyone and welcome back to some more Sponge Plugin Programming. Today we are going to move away from the event listener that we were working on last time in order to make the way that we handle accounts a lot better. And the way we're going to go about doing this is be by creating ourselves an account class that will be in charge of handling the setting and getting of the experience as well as the level values for each individual skill. So let's start off by opening up our skill manager class our mining skill class, and also our account manager class. As well as having those files open, let's go ahead and make a brand new class within our config package called account. And just like I said before, this will be in charge of handling each individual player's experience and levels for each skill. And it's just going to make it a lot easier to go about doing that. So that's what this is for. And after creating that, let's start with our skill manager class. And we want to make a couple of changes in here. In the last video, I made a mistake by using integer.parse int here. So let's go ahead, get rid of that. And all we want to do in here is do git int instead of git string. And as well as that, we can easily get rid of this comment. And to prevent that null pointer exception that I was talking about last time, we can go ahead and just throw a zero within this get int function. And this, all this is going to do is if nothing is returned by this get int function, or in this case, if there is no node called mining followed by the block name, then it will just default that value to zero. And that will completely avoid any sort of null pointer exceptions that may happen. Another change we want to make within our event listener is we want to go about surrounding all the code within here with an if statement to check to make sure that there is actually a player present during this block break event. Or to put that more simply, to make sure that a player is the one breaking a block and not some other cause. So if event.getCause.first player.class, so if the cause is a player that is present, if that player is actually present, then go ahead and continue with the execution of all of this code, which requires a player to actually be present for it to work. And the reason for this is, like I said, it's going to prevent this code here from being called. And also it's going to prevent a null pointer exception from occurring when somebody besides a player or a different cause besides a player is the one breaking a block. And so when that change is made, let's head on over to our mining skill class because we are all done with our skill manager class. And let's make another change in here as well regarding the integer.parse int. So just go ahead and get rid of that. And that is all that we have to do with this class for today. Now we can go on to our brand new account class that we just created and fill this out with some stuff. First, we want to create some private variables, the sponge skills plugin variable which will give us an instance of our main plugin class and an account manager so we can access each player's account. Should be account manager. A UUID, which will be the player's UUID. Then import that, the java.util.uuid one. As well as those variables, we want to create a configuration node configuration node for the accounts configuration file. Now we want to go about creating a constructor here so we can initialize all of these values. It'll take in a sponge skills argument called a plugin, an account manager called account manager, and the UUID called UUID. And now all we want to do with this is initialize these. So this.plugin equals plugin. What is it going to do for us as a refresher? It's going this.plugin is going to access this plugin variable here. It's going to set it equal to the plugin variable being passed in here. And we're going to do that for the rest of these. This.accountManager equals account manager. This.uuid equals uuid. 
And we also want to initialize the accounts config configuration node. So accounts config equals account manager dot get accounts config. So there's our constructor. That is all that we're going to need in order to get this thing working. We can go on to creating our getter and setter functions to easily access a player's experience and level values for each and every skill. So let's go tab down a little bit, create our first getter, which will be a public, a public int get skill exp. And all it's going to take in is a string representation of the skill name. And all this is going to do is return the accounts config dot get node. And the node that we want to return, if we go ahead and look within our accounts configuration file, it's the UUID. So UUID dot two string, followed by skills, the skill name, and then the experience value. Now this isn't going to look exactly like what we currently have in there. We are going to change it up this episode, so don't worry too much about that because it will change. But this is what the final node is going to look like. And all we want to do with that node is do dot get int. And again, since this can take in a default and there is possibly a chance of this having no value or this node may not exist, we want to go ahead and just return a default value of zero. Now with that, we need another function to go about setting the skill experience. So public void set skill exp. And this will take in two arguments, a string for the skill name and an integer for the experience amount. And this will do accounts config dot get node. Once again, we are just going to be grabbing this node right here which is UUID dot two string followed by skills followed by the skill name being passed in and exp. And we're just going to set this value using dot set value to exp amount, which is just the argument being passed in to our set skill experience function right here. Now, as I said a couple videos back, whenever we change a value within a node, we always need to save it. And we're going to do that by using account manager dot save config. Currently that function is not created, but we will be creating it soon. So you will get this little red error there. That's fine. It will be fixed shortly, but this is just going to make it a lot easier instead of rewriting the same code over and over and over again. So with that done, we can move on to our getter and setters for the skill level. Public int get skill level takes in one argument, the skill name as a string. And it will just return accounts config dot get node. And once again, it'll pretty much be the same exact thing here. Instead of experience though, it will be level. So UUID dot two string skills, the skill name and level. And we're just going to do get int. And since there, again, is a chance that this node may not exist or there may be no value associated with it, we want to set a default value so we can actually go out returning something instead of just encountering a null pointer exception. So we can set this to 1. So that node doesn't exist, it will return 1 versus nothing. Then we need a setter function, public void set skill level, the skill name, and an integer for the skill level. And we'll do accounts config dot get node UUID dot two string. Once again, followed by skills, the name of the skill, and level. And we're gonna set the value equal to the passed in skill level like that. And once again, whenever you change a node, you need to go ahead and save it using account manager config, which once again, we will be creating shortly. 
Now, once all of that is done, we can head on over to our account manager class in order to update our account creation function or our create account function, as well as create that save config function. Let's go ahead, start with the create account function. And what we want to use here or update in here is right at the top, you want to create an account object. And let's go ahead and actually import that. We'll call this account is equal to new account. And remember, this takes in three arguments, the main class, which in this case will be plugin, the an account manager class or object, which will just be this, and also the UUID of the player, which we can use the argument that is being passed into this function already to pass it in to our constructor over here. Now with that, let's just go and remove all the code in between these curly braces of this if statement where it's checking to see if they have an account or not. Just get rid of all of that code because we can simplify that using our new account object. We can do account skill level, the name of the skill, which will be mining, and we'll set it to one. And then again, for the skill experience, name of the skill is mining, and the default starting value will be zero. And we can just save config. And also while we're at it, let's simplify this has account function. Let's just take this portion here, cut it out. And all we have to do is return that. And that will do the same exact thing as before. It's just instead of having four lines of code, it's all contained within a single line of code. And again, it, it'll do the same exact thing. Now, lastly, we want to create the save config function. So public void save config. And we need to throw it into a try catch block because since we are saving something, there is a chance of an IO exception occurring. So we need to catch an IO exception. We'll call that E. And if an IO exception does occur, let's go ahead and log a warning to the console saying that there was an error saving the accounts configuration. And here we do loader.save in the node that we want to save, which will be the accounts config. And once all that is done, save it, build the project, and start up the server, and we can test to make sure that everything is working properly. And before you go about starting the server, be sure to delete all the current configuration files since they are going to be changed up a little bit in order to get this code working. So if they're not the same, it is going to run some errors or it's going to warn us of some errors. So go ahead and delete those configs, start from fresh, and then we can go and test this out. Once we join the server, we can go and check our account configuration file and we should see a little bit of a difference in the way it is structured. So let's open that up. And as you can see, we still have the UUID of the player with the skills node, which will end up containing more than just one skill because currently it's just containing mining, but it will go and contain every single skill, which inside of each of those skills, it will have an experience value as well as a level value that will be used to store the experience and levels for each individual skill. And with everything working properly here, with no errors, that will conclude this video. So if this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.